Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 48. Class 48. Let's go! Beginner. Welcome. Yes, welcome. Bienvenidos to class 48, 48. Approaching. Estamos acercando. We are approaching class number 50. All right. Moving along. And we're going to start with a little review, un repaso, of what we saw yesterday. We were talking yesterday, I was talking, about some pictures that I was looking at. I was looking at some pictures, and we were practicing the present continuous. Me acabo de decir unas frases en el pasado continuo. I was looking. I was practicing. We are going to practice in the present continuous. Uh, I am speaking in English. I am. Eso es muy fácil. Es muy, muy fácil hablar en presente continuo porque ya sabes usar el, el verbo to be, el presente, con el verbo to be. Y to, todo lo que tienes que hacer es uh, traducir el verbo, uh, bueno, disculpa, con, conjugar el verbo to be, como siempre, y luego pongamos después el gerundio, the gerund. It's the conjugated verb to be. I am speaking. He is speaking. We are practicing our English. I am speaking. Are you listening? Are you listening? Yes, Kyle, I'm listening. Yes, Kyle, we are listening. We are listening. Yes. Are you listening to the show? Are you paying attention? Estás prestando atención? Are you paying attention? I hope. Espero que estás... Prestando atención. I hope you're paying attention. To pay. En, in, en inglés pagamos atención. No prestamos. En, en inglés pagamos. We pay attention. Okay, and I, we, I am looking again. I am looking at a few pictures. I am looking at a picture now of Philip Johnson. He's American. He's not French. He's not German. He's not Swedish. He's American. He's standing. He's not sitting. He's standing. He's pointing at a map. He's pointing at a map with his left hand. He's not pointing at a map with his right hand. He's pointing at a map with his left hand. He's pointing at Greenland. He's not pointing at Iran. He's not pointing at Mongolia. He's not pointing at Canada. He's not pointing at Ethiopia. He's not pointing at Libya. He's not pointing at Pakistan. He's pointing at Greenland. Groenlandia. He's pointing at Greenland. He's not pointing at China. He's not pointing at Cambodia or Thailand or Australia or Russia or Senegal. He's pointing at Greenland. He's pointing at a map. He's pointing at a map with his left hand. He's standing. He's standing in a room with Nigel Perkins. Nigel Perkins is looking at the map. He's paying attention. Está prestando atención. He's paying attention. He's holding a cigarette. He's holding a cigarette in his right hand. He's not holding a cigarette in his left hand. He's holding a cigarette in his right hand. He's smoking. He's smoking a cigarette. He's standing and he is looking at the map. He's looking at the map that Philip Johnson is pointing at. Okay. Very good. Now I'm looking at another picture. I'm looking at a picture of Ines Garcia. She's from Seville. She's not from Germany. She's from Spain. She's not from Jaén. She's from Seville. She's not from Portugal. She's from Spain. She's not from Madrid. She's from 
Seville. She's sitting in a chair. She's reading the newspaper, and she is listening to the radio. Her friend, Paula, Paula is entering, is coming into the room. She's carrying a tray, una bandeja. She's carrying a tray. She's carrying a tray of coffee. She's carrying a tray with coffee cups. She's not carrying a tray of tea. She's carrying a tray of coffee. She's wearing shorts. Pantalones cortos. She's wearing shorts. She's not wearing pants. She's not wearing long pants. She's wearing shorts. Mm -hmm. And we have a picture of Pierre Monet. Pierre is standing. He's standing in the rain. It's a rainy day. He's standing in the rain, but he's holding an umbrella. He's holding an umbrella in his right hand. He's not holding an umbrella in his left hand. He's holding an umbrella in his right hand. He's holding a briefcase. Maletín. He's holding a briefcase in his left hand. He's looking at his watch. He's looking at his watch to know the time. There is a girl in the picture. There is a girl in the picture. She is yelling at Pierre. She is yelling at Pierre. She is, she is saying, Pierre, Pierre. She is not holding an umbrella. She is not holding an umbrella, but it is raining. She is getting wet. Mm. Mojarse, to get wet. She is getting wet. Pierre is not getting wet because he is holding an umbrella. Okay? Present continues. He is holding an umbrella. There's a fourth picture. There's another picture, a fourth picture, with Li Tong. He's Chinese. He's not German. He's Chinese. He's from Shanghai. He's not from Beijing. He is riding a bicycle. A bicycle. Bicicleta. He's riding. He's riding a bicycle. Yes. It's very windy. Hay mucho viento. Hace viento. There's a lot of wind. It's very windy. He's riding his bicycle. He's wearing a coat. There is a boy sitting. The boy is playing with a toy. He's playing. Está jugando. He's playing with a toy car. Yes, he's playing with a toy car and he is looking at Lee. The boy is sitting, and Lee is riding his bicycle. He is wearing a coat, and he is wearing a hat. He is riding his bicycle. Now, yesterday we were practicing with the Saxon genitive. They are Natasha's cats with the possessive, the Saxon genitive, the apostrophe S that we use in the Saxon genitive with some animals and some different sounds and musical instruments. It's David's, or it's uh, Richard's piano. It's not David's piano, it's Richard's piano, for example, yesterday. Now we can do the same and we will practice with the house, la cocina, the kitchen, comedor, dining room, Dining room, salon, living room, pasillo, hall, hall, garaje, garage, dormitorio, bedroom, cuarto de baño, bathroom, cuarto de invitados, guest room, guest room. Yes, very good. So... So, here there is a bedroom, a small bedroom. And there is, uh, well, it's not Michael's bedroom. It's not Philip and Nancy's bedroom. Entonces, ¿de quién es? Pregúntame. Whose bedroom is it? Whose bedroom is it? It's Denise's bedroom. It's not Michael's bedroom. It's not Philip and Nancy's bedroom. It's Denise's bedroom. Next to Denise's bedroom, there is another room. It is not Denise's bedroom. 
It's not Philip and Nancy's bedroom. Ask me whose bedroom it is. De quien? Whose? Whose? De quien? Ask me whose bedroom it is. Kyle, whose bedroom is it? Oh. It's Michael's bedroom. It's not Denise's bedroom. It's not Philip and Nancy's bedroom. It's Michael's bedroom. Mm-hmm. And next to that, oh, next to Denise's bedroom, there is another bedroom. It's not Denise's bedroom. It's not Michael's bedroom. It's, Dickenis, whose bedroom is it? It's Philip and Nancy's bedroom bedroom. It's Philip and Nancy's bedroom. It's not Denise's bedroom. It's not Michael's bedroom. It's Philip and Nancy's bedroom. Mm -hmm. One more time with the other words for the rooms. La cocina, the kitchen. Comedor, dining room. Very good. Salon, living room. Pasillo, hall, hall. Garaje, garage. Dormitorio, bedroom. Cuarto de baño, bathroom. Cuarto de invitados, guest room. Guest room. All right, very good. Word of the day. Yes, it is time for our word of the day. The word of the day today is... Ventaja. In English, advantage, advantage, yes, advantage, very good, Adva ventaja, advantage, conmigo, advantage, advantage, very good, very good. Okay, now we can practice again with the present continuous, with more pictures, more pictures. Now I'm looking at a picture of two men. They're sitting. They're not standing. They're sitting. They're sitting at a table. Una mesa. They're sitting at a table. They're smiling. Están sonriendo. They're smiling. They're eating dinner. There, there are two men. Aki Morita and Luigi Bargini or Bargini. Luigi is eating spaghetti. He's eating spaghetti with a fork and spoon. He's not eating spaghetti with chopsticks. He's eating spaghetti with a fork and spoon. Spaghetti. No, so you say spaghettis, but spaghetti. Aki, Aki Morita, is eating rice. He's ri eating rice from a bowl. He's eating rice with chopsticks. Mm -hmm. He's pouring wine. He's pouring wine into Luigi's glass. He's not pouring wine into his glass. He's pouring wine into Luigi's glass. He's pouring shandy. He's not pouring La Ri wine from La Rioja. He's pouring shandy. Mm -hmm. He's pouring it into Luigi's glass. They're sitting. They're not standing. They're sitting. They're having lunch. They're not having dinner. They're having lunch. They're eating. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are wearing ties. Llevan corbatas. They have ties. Or they are wearing. Llevar puesto. Llevan puestos. Ties. Corbatas. They're wearing ties. Yes. And they are sitting. They are eating dinner. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time now for the vocabulary of the day. That's right, our five words of vocabulary for today. The first word is tarde. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Tarde. Late. It's getting late. Very late. Muy tarde. Tarde. Late. 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 Con la T fuerte. Línea. Line. Line. Afortunado? Lucky. Lucky. Parque? Park. Park. Mm. Park. Llamada telefónica? Phone call. 
phone call. Very good. To make a phone call or receive a phone call. Phone call. Very good. All right, now it's time for a little bit of translation. Yes, translation. It's time for some translation. We are now looking at list number two in your inverse translation book. That's right. Okay, are you ready? At home, are you ready? Yes, we're ready, of course. Very good. Number one, ella es profesora. She's a teacher. She's teacher, no vale. She's a teacher with a profession. We need the article. She's a teacher. I'm a teacher. You're a student. I'm a teacher. Well, maybe you're a teacher too. Are you a teacher? Are you a Spanish teacher? Are you a math teacher? Are you a language teacher? Are you a science teacher? She, ella es profesora. She's a teacher. Number two, él es estudiante. He's a student. Number three, la lista es larga. The list is long. Very good. The list is long. Número cuatro, el Ebro es un río largo. The Ebro is a long river. Number five, el Miño es un río corto. The Miño is a short river. Number six, esta calle no es muy larga. This street isn't very long. Number seven, es una calle muy ancha. It's a very wide street. Okay, it's a very wide street. Adjective before the noun. Very important. It's a very wide street. You have to use this word order. It's a very wide street. Very good. Number eight. Este libro es muy caro. This book is very expensive. Number nine. Aquel libro es barato. That book is cheap. That book is cheap. Number ten. El coche azul está en el garaje. The blue car is in the garage. The blue car is in the garage. Number 11. El libro rojo está en la mesa. The red book is on the table. Y número 12. Number 12. El bolígrafo verde está en mi mano. The green pen is in my hand. Very good. Excellent. Good job. We're completely out of time. Nos hemos quedado sin tiempo. We have run out of time. We are out of time. So I will leave you now. But tomorrow we will be back. Same time. Same place. And remember, if you would like to be a guest on the show, write in. Send us an email through the website, bauganingles.com. Log into your account. You can send us any questions. Si tienes cualquier pregunta, any questions, you can ask us. Or if you would like to be a guest on the radio, say, Kyle, put in the subject line, el sujeto, uh, radio guest. And then you can say, I would like to be a radio guest with Kyle on the Baugan Inglés 4.0 radio show, and I will do my best to invite you to the program, okay? Thank you for listening, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>